What a fantastic start to the NRL final series. Last weekend was incredible, and this week it's set up to be better than that again. I'm Paul Shodka, joined by Anthony Seabold for the game plan, and today let's look in focus to the Eels and the Raiders clash at Combank Stadium. We'll start with the Eels. A scoreline not necessarily a true reflection of the closeness of last week's encounter. Coming back home for week two, Parramatta, they haven't lost two in a row all year, and Seebs, it's the big men. Regan Campbell-Gillard and Junior Baolo, where it will be won or lost. Yeah, it will be. It'll be won through the middle of the park. And if we look at Parramatta's strengths, one of the things they do well is they'll use Junior Paolo through the middle of the park to try and create momentum, but they also give him an opportunity to play a little bit wider and get one-on-ones with some smaller men. So this is an example against the Bulldogs from a few weeks ago. And you'll see Junior Paolo out here in the number 10 jersey, outside Mitchell Moses. And what they're trying to do is, is create a one-on-one situation. So he gets the ball of Mitchell Moses. There it is there. So as many one-on-ones as they can get with Junior Parlo means he's going to have the ability to promote the ball. He's really hard to handle. So when he carries tight, there's three men in the tackle. When he carries a little bit wider, there's only one man at times in the tackle. He gets his hands free, obviously, against the, uh, the Bulldogs a few weeks ago. And Parramatta and Wonga Blake go in and score the try in the right-hand side corner. This is against the Panthers, right? So, again, not always are you going to see him get a one-on-one like that. But even if he gets two in the tackle, so you'll see here... Abby Corusau and also uh, Viliami uh, Kikau are in the tackle there. He pushes through the tackle and he gets his hands free for uh, Reed Money to go through and score the try next to the stick. So that's one thing about Junior Parlour. He has that ability to pre-line pass, but in traffic, he's got a great offload. Now, his partner in Regan Campbell-Gillard, there's some things that stand out about him. He runs with real intent, and this is against the Panthers as well. There he is, going into the contact. And what he's trying to do is he's trying to create momentum or get a quick play of the ball for Reed Marnie, Mitchell Moses, Dylan Brown and Clint Gutherson to play off the back of. So he does that exceptionally well. And here's Regan Campbell-Gillard getting into the contact zone there against the West Tigers a few weeks ago. Now, one thing about him, he keeps driving his legs, pushes through, creates space. And because he keeps driving his legs, you'll see there's three in the tackle there and he promotes the football. Again, Clint Gutherson, Mitchell Moses, Dylan Brown, those types of guys pushing in and around Regan Campbell-Gillard and Junior Parlo, they'll get some second-phase play against the Canberra Raiders on Friday night. OK, that's the Eels props. What about the 8 and the 10 for the Raiders? Josh Papalihi and Joseph Tarpany. Papalihi's played at a high level for a long time. With Tarpany, well, not only is he the most improved forward this year, but arguably the best prop in the game right now. Well, in my opinion, I think he's the best front rower in the game, particularly the back end of this year. Uh, the Raiders have won nine from 13 games, and a lot of it's been built off the back of what uh, uh, Papalihi and also Tarpany have done. So we're going to start with, with, with Joseph Tarpany. One of the things I like about him is you'll see a lot of the Raiders in motion when he carries the ball. So there's almost like five... Raiders players pushing in support when Joseph Tarpany carries the ball. And the reason being is this. So, so there, he's got great footwork, which gets him in between defenders. You'll see Jack White and pop, pop up on his left-hand side. And, and as I said before, if we go back to the start of the clip, there's, there's players in motion. There's these players here. There's White in there. There's Adam Elliott. And then even Josh Papalihi. Five players all pushing in support with Joseph Tarpany because they know he can do this. Jack Watton goes through, and that was the first try against the Melbourne Storm last week again. So again, if we have a look at what he brings to the group, there's Tarpany, got great footwork. So what that does is it gets his head and shoulders in between defenders. Now when Tarpany gets his head and shoulders through uh, defenders, he has the ability to get the ball in one hand and offload. So Elliot Whitehead doesn't give up on the play, he goes through and they make a line break against a really good Melbourne Storm defence, we know that. The other thing that I see from Joseph Tarpany is his short passing game. So, not only can he offload in traffic, but he also creates one-on-one for other attacking players. So there's Elliot Whitehead again. And you'll just see the eyes of Kenny Bromwich, the left-hand side edge back row for the Melbourne Storm. Because Tarpany can get across with some footwork, engage defenders and has got that pre-line pass, it creates a one-on-one between Nick Meaney and Elliot Whitehead. And as I said before, like Junior Parlo, the more one-on-ones you get with big men against little, little bodies out on the edges in particular, it's a mismatch. And Elliot Whitehead pushes through for a really crucial try against the Melbourne Storm. Last but not least, so these are the two big boys. All right, so you've got Tarpini and Josh Papalihi there pushing together. They play well together. And again, there's Joseph Tarpini pushing, pushing, pushing. There's Papalihi. Now, what they're trying to do again is create a 1v1 one, one or a mismatch. And you see that there. Josh Papalihi, 1v1, 
against a defender, particularly a smaller defender. He's going to push through the line, and he comes through the other side. So love the way they play together, uh, Tarpeni and Papalihi. I think they're the real threat for the Parramatta Eels on Friday evening. And off the back of that, Fogarty, Jack White, and those types of guys get, get plenty of space to, to play off the back of. So... Uh, it's going to be a great matchup up front on Friday evening. One of those traditional finals clashes, that's for sure. Thanks, Siebes. Tickets are selling fast, so make sure you go to nrl.com slash tickets to get yours today. If you can't get to the games, you can still watch it on Channel 9, Foxtel, Sky New Zealand or KL.